morning everybody so you have done your first bimonthly test hope you will get out of it in your first bimonthly test so instead of wasting our time we shall discuss our second lesson that is estimation estimating the value this estimation you have studied this in your previous classes might be right you have studied in your previous class right yes what is estimation estimation is nothing but to get the prescribed value to get the nearest value or we can say that is nothing but rounding of the number what do we say it as we say it as what rounding of the number that is nothing but what estimation what is estimation estimation is nothing but to get the prescribed or to get the nearest value or we can say it is nothing but rounding of the number this lesson is very simple you can do it this is very easiest you have to understand this concept this is important this is important and i have teached you this in your previous classes also from third to fourth to fifth you will get this things this is not like uh, what you want to you okay this is you have studied in your previous class please remember what you are going to do if the number is more than 5 or equal to 5 if it is 5 or more than 5 more than 5 means 5 6 7 8 9 You are going to increase one number. What you are going to do? You are going to increase one number. You are going to increase one number. You are going to add one number. When you are going to add one, it is more than five or it is equal to five. Done? Yes. Now, one if once it is less than five, less than five. What? Four. One, you are going to keep the number as it is. You are going to keep the number as it is. Students, you have two concepts here. First is more than five or equal to five, and then it is less than five. If it is more than five, you are going to increase one number. If it is less than five, you are going to decrease one number. See now the first heading. <coughs> Sorry. Round off the number. You are going to round off the number nearest to ten. See, I have given two digits. One is six and one is two, or two and six. Six is in one place and two is in tens place. Now we are checking it for the tens place. Round off the number nearest to tens means you are going to see the number in one place. What do you have in one place? <coughs> it is six. What it is in one place? What you have six? Okay. What it is is more than five, right? Six. It comes after five, right? So you are going to increase the number in the tens place. This becomes three, and this becomes zero. This is your answer. See, student, how do we get three here? See, in one place we have a number called six, which is more than five. Then you are going to increase one number in the tens place. It becomes as three, and this becomes as zero. If there was four, it could have become five. If there was six, could have become seven. If it is eight, could have been this to nine. This is about nearest to ones place. Okay? Yes. Now one more problem we will solve. See, in ones place I have two. In tens place I have seven. In one place I have two. In tens place I have seven. See, you are going to see the number in the tens place. What it is? Two. Two is less than five or more than five? It is less than five, right? It is less than five. Hence, this number will become as it is, and this number becomes zero. So you may get doubt here, sir. You have written three here, sir. Why you have written same as it is seven, sir? Why? Because the number in the ones place is two. It is less than five. Hence, we are going to keep it as it is. 
Here the number in the ones place is 6 is more than 5. I am going to increase one number. Done? This is the concept. With this concept, we shall move on with the problems, exercise problems. You can see the problems here. Page number 12. Page number 12. Exercise 1, 2A. Exercise 2A. Round off each of the following nearest to tens. One I will solve you here. One I will solve you. I will show you how to do. See here. They have given A, 2, 6, 1. They have given all these things. See this ones place. Tens place. Thousand place. And ones tens. Hundred sorry. And thousand. Done. Ones, tens, hundred, thousand. Done. So in ones place what do you have? What do you have? We are going to see the number in the ones place. This is like that. Then you are going to increase the number only in the tens place. Okay. So this will become as it is. Only in the tens place number will get changed. If it is 6, it is 7. If it is this one, see left hand number will be, left side number will be as it is, but the right hand number will become as 0. If there are more numbers, the left hand numbers will be as it is and the right hand number will be, after the right hand will be 0. This is the point we have done. Okay, one more problem I will solve here. See, look at the problem. 3, 0, 0, 8. Done. This 3, 0, 0, 8. This is in 1's place. This is in 10's place. This is 100. This is 1000. You are going to see the number in 1's place. It is what? 8. 8 is what? It is more than 5. You are going to increase one number in the tens place. After zero, it is one. See, this becomes as one. The left hand side number will be as it is. And the right hand number will be zero. If there are more numbers. Okay, students. Did you understand this? See, the left hand number will be as it is. And the right hand number will be what? Zero. Sure? Yes. Moving on for the next problem. That is round of the number nearest to 100. You are going to write the number nearest to 100. 100 place. See the, I have given in here the problems. 7, 4, 8. Then mark it out in the terms of 1's, 10's, 100. 1's, 10's and 100. Mark it out like that. So, in 1's place, what do you have? 8 in 10's place is 4, in 100 place it is 7. Now, looking out for the nearest to 100, you are going to look at the number in the 10's place. Here it was 1's place, now it is for 10's place. Please students, in 10's you are going to see the number in the 1's place. In 100 you are going to see the number in the 1's place, 10's place. See what you have 4, it is less than 5, hence it would be as it is. And this becomes as what? 0, 0. I have said you, right hand side number becomes 0, 0. Left hand side if there are, it could have been done as as it is. Next question. 5, 4, 3, 2. 5, 4, 3, 2. It is in one's place. Ten, hundred, thousand. You are going to see the number in tens place. What it is? Three. So three. It is less than five. It will be as it is. Done? Yes. And the remaining terms will be left hand side will be as it is. And the right hand side will become as what? 0. Done? Yes. One more problem we will solve. One more problem we have. See here. 6, 3. 